Today, we stand together in our hundreds of thousands as Gaza is being destroyed before the eyes of the world as Israel unleashes its full military might on a defenseless population. Over 20,000 children, women and men dead or injured, more than a million Palestinians displaced and countless homes, hospitals and schools turned to rubble. Day after day, we hear of the horror emanating from Gaza, the unimaginable pain, suffering and death, a deliberately enforced tragedy made worse by an Israeli government's desire to inflict more pain, more suffering. A whole population denied the most basic of human rights by the Israeli government, with no proper access to water, to food, medicine and electricity. The Israeli government must grant access and safety to the United Nations and other humanitarian agencies to fulfil their duties. There must be immediate humanitarian access for Gaza and the adherence to international humanitarian and human rights law. Our message today to the Israeli government is clear and simple. Stop. Stop the bombing of Gaza. Stop the blockade of Gaza. Stop the occupation, the illegal settlements and stop the apartheid. For this is not self-defence. The international community must step up and call for a full, immediate ceasefire. Hostages must be returned and all efforts must focus on ceasefires, on dialogue and the negotiations process that can deliver a just and lasting peace in the Middle East based upon the creation of a viable Palestinian state. And let us not be deterred or intimidated in our message of ceasefire. We in Ireland know about the difficult path to peace, but whilst difficult, it is possible with support and political will. Make no mistake that over the past weeks, the millions of people like us all here today, taking to the streets and demanding an end of the cruel suffering of the Palestinian people is a voice that cannot be ignored, is a voice that will not be ignored. Israel will attack those of us here today. They attacked the United Nations Secretary General during the week or any government that dares talk peace or human rights or aid agencies on the ground in Palestine, but they are wrong. We know we are right as we stand on the right side of history and we stand on the right side of humanity. So let us show the world that we do, that we will continue to stand against oppression and genocide. Let us raise our voices higher and demand free, free Palestine.